Mountain biking has always been a sport for those of us who don't like to play by the rules. And the choice of where we ride, who we do it with, how fast we go, and the bikes we do it on is totally down to you. However, there are some unspoken rules of mountain biking that you probably do without even knowing it. If you're a new rider then, you're gonna to wanna to watch so you can figure out what they are. And if you're an old rider, you might wanna to watch to figure out the ones you stick to without even knowing it. Rule number one, don't leave anything behind. So not your banana skins, not your drinks bottles, or not the little bit of zip tie that you snipped off in the car park when you put your mudguard on. Most of us know that, of course, but it's really easy to forget. It's really easy to leave your inner tube in the woods after you've changed your flat. It's really easy to forget the valve cap from your fork. So what we need to do is be vigilant. With so many more people on the trails though, what we actually have to do is go further than that and pick up other people's rubbish when we find it on the trails. Trash Free Trails goal is to reduce single use pollution by 75% by 2025. And you can go a long way to helping with that. So that can be as simple as picking up a little bit of trash if you see it on the trail, all the way through to organising a full-on litter pick with your mates once a season. Just make sure you go ahead and tell Trash Free Trails when you've done that so they can chart the progress we're making. Rule number two is something that we are all guilty of, and that's riding the same trails, the same routes, time after time. I mean, it makes sense. You probably had a really good time last time you did it, and you didn't get lost. But the thing is, it's a big wide world out there and there are loads of trails. And for me, the best thing about mountain biking is riding new trails and exploring different places. The big question is though, how do you find those new trails? I'm sure you've all heard of Komoot. It's basically an enormous route planning and navigation app and its mission is to bring trails and make them more accessible to people like you. Komoot is super easy to use. You put in your start point, you put in your finish point, and Commute will do all the hard work and basically build the best off-road route for you. If you want to add more, that's cool. You put in another waypoint, you drag it around, or you can search for waypoints if you want to hit up something specific. My favorite part though, is that you can tailor this for e-bikes, just like this one. Generally speaking, you're faster on an e-bike than a regular mountain bike, and it's easier going too. Check the box on the route planning screen and Komoot will adjust the difficulty estimation and expected completion time to allow for that. Drill down into a route and you'll see other riders have left their own tips on sections of the ride and their own highlights. It brings a trail to life like nothing else. I really like Trail View too. It's full of pictures that other Komoot users have uploaded and it's not all cheesy grins and epic scenery because Komoot uses AI to screen out all of that stuff and just bring you pictures of the trail so you know exactly what you're gonna be dealing with. Without doubt though, single track scale is the most useful for me because it grades your ride on difficulty from S0 to S5. This means I can always be riding the right kind of terrain. So that's S0 or S1 when I'm running with the kids, that's flowy and easy, or I can notch that up to S4 or S5 when I'm riding with friends. Rule number three is short and sweet. It's really important to be nice. That means saying hi to other trail users, slowing down for horses, holding gates open for other riders. Uh, it really makes a difference to how mountain biking is seen by other trail users. We want to be the trail good guys. Rule number four is to share your knowledge. Don't keep all the good stuff to yourself. Tell everyone what you've been doing and the great adventures you've been having. You can start by adding a Komoot highlight of your own, or you can add a picture or a tip to an existing Komoot highlight. Or you can tell people about how you did the right thing by picking up some litter off the trail, or you can add another tip and tell them about the underrated highlight of the ride. You never know, you might even inspire somebody else to get out and do a litter pick on their next ride. So there we have it, unspoken rules of mountain biking only now they're very much spoken rather than being unspoken. Uh, we've got one more bonus piece of advice for you and that's to connect with the commute community. You can tell them about what you've been up to, where you've been riding, and you can also ask for opinions about where you should ride and where your next adventure should take you. 
Let me know in the comments below if you think we've missed out any really important tips that really should have been mentioned. And if you only take two things from this video, number one, don't cause anyone else to crash. And number two, don't be a dick on the trails. See you later.